I mean, I, I would not have looked at that and thought it was a, a, a crazy, amazing, wonderful 2000 and almost $500 piece. Did you know that unsigned brooches in particular can go for over $1,000? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Did you guys know that brooches can be a huge money bolo? Did you know that unsigned brooches in particular, some of them that are not signed, like that means there's nothing on them saying what brand they are, can go for over $1,000. I am about to knock your socks off. Let's look at some amazing brooches that go for big money. Some are signed, some are unsigned, some are branded, but unsigned. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see these beauties. Let's get started. All right. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is this video right here. This first video that's showing up. It is my most popular video. Um, somebody bought something on Whatnot. Um, it's a popular um, app where you sell things live and um, somebody bought something over there for $20 and they sold it on eBay for $999.97. Now, I know why everybody clicked on this video is because everybody wanted to see what that item was. Well, spoiler alert, it is a vintage brooch. However, I am going to make you go watch the video to see which vintage brooch it is because it is incredible. And after I posted this video, somebody in my Facebook group actually had one and sold theirs for big money and it even had missing like pieces. So go check out that video. I will link it down below. Just incredible. If you guys are not on Whatnot, it's definitely a great place to source even if you don't want to sell. Um, I have another video coming up soon where somebody bought something for $6 on whatnot and sold it for $150. So that video will be coming soon. But anyway, I do have a referral link down below. If you use that link to join whatnot, you're going to get 15 free dollars to shop. $15 free money. So use that link down below. Join whatnot. Even if you don't want to be a seller, you can definitely be a buyer. And when you click on that, it will take you over to my whatnot. So make sure you follow me. And we're going to get started with some big money brooches. Um, let's look at the first one. And it is an unsigned brooch. It's a unique antique Victorian Scottish large green jade agate sterling silver brooch. Okay, so things it has going for it. Jade and sterling. But 1000 and $1.50. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but that is a lot of money for a brooch. Uh, no markings on this whatsoever. I, I was wondering if maybe it was marked sterling somewhere, but I don't even know if it's marked sterling. Now, one way to know that an item is old, if you're looking at vintage jewelry, and I learned this from somebody who sells jewelry because I am definitely not a jewelry expert, but do you see how the pin is sticking out past the little connector there? I see, I don't even know what they're called. That is one indicator that the item is old. So how it clasped together um, can definitely be a good uh, way to know if the item is vintage or not. All right, so that one is a big money unsigned bolo. Now, this one is a Shriner New York. This brand right here is the number one brand to be looking for if you are looking for brooches that go for big money. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see some of the other ones I'm going to show you. Here's the back of the brooch. This one is actually marked right here. So this is what it looks like. Not super fancy. It's an oval with the name, okay? But I will tell you, not all Shriners are signed. It can be very, very confusing. But you're going to see most of them are stunning. This pattern right here is a pretty common um, bolo. And you can, I just noticed right here, look at this. It's missing a piece. And it's still sold for $1,025. Wow. So... For these listings, what I did is I either went in and I checked for feedback 
or I went in to see if the item was relisted. I'm also doing a lot of auction style, which shows that the item had a lot of bids, but these brands that I'm sharing with you are known to be big money. So these are definitely items to look for. So this one is broken and still, still sold for over $1,000. And it says right here, magnificent. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. This is for the next one. All right, let's actually, let me show you the item first. Okay, so this is an antique Morris hammer butterfly brooch, ultra rare, rare violet purple, violet purple. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Um, if you look right here, you can see that the side of the pin is really sticking out far. Let's look at the back of the brooch. Um, I wanted to share the feedback with you. That's why I have that pulled up. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see how far it sticks out past the little clasp. Really, really far. This is really an old piece. Now, freeze to read. This must be some sort of app, but I guess this right here is maybe the marking. Is that say 925 maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, Maris Hammer. This sold for $1,099. And I did look at the feedback and the person wrote, Magnificent Rare Deep Purple Maris Hammer Butterfly. Much appreciated. I am working diligently on the book of the Magnificent Sterling Enamel Butterflies. This one will have a prominent place in the book. Thank you so much. So this lady is writing a book on these type of brooches, butterfly brooches. So this must be really, really special. And $1,099 with free shipping on that one. And it only had one bid, but she did leave feedback. Here is a um, vintage French Gripoy. Grip <laughs> oh man, you guys, I even went over to Google and asked Google how to pronounce it. But here I am doing the video and I can't remember how to say it. So for those of you that tell me to check Google, I actually did it tonight and I still can't say it. So let's see, Gripoy, Grip. It was so easy too. I'm like, oh, I would have got that right. Grip oik, grip oik, grip, gripix, gripix. I don't know. G R I P O I X. It was a valid effort there. Okay, so this is a beautiful vintage poured glass brooch. And let's see, right here on the back it says France, but it is not marked in any other way than France. So this one sold for $1,125 plus shipping. How do you know that's the brand? I have no clue, but that is a brand to definitely be on the lookout for. I saw more than one in that brand going for over $1,000. I think I have another example. Now, this one right here is an unsigned Trafari. Uh, it's sterling silver crown scepter pin brooch. So I'm guessing Google Lens probably pulled this up as a Trafari piece. I did not realize that some Trafari was not signed. Uh, I know there's a difference between Trafari and Crown Trafari. I have heard different opinions on which one is more valuable. Um, but Trafari in general, some of it can go for crazy big money. So be on the lookout for it. Um, others, you know, just I wouldn't say bread and butter. Some of it, I guess, could be bread and butter. Some of it can be that mid-range and some of it can go for thousands of dollars. But Trifari is a great brand to pick up. Um, do your research. Google Lens is a great tool. I do have a video on how to use Google Lens if you don't know how to use it. It is free, um, Google Lens. So definitely take advantage of that. It will help you identify things. Right here, it does say patent pending. I think the older pieces do say that. Um, but that's the only thing it says on it. So it's an unsigned piece that sold for $1,125 plus shipping. The next item is that brand again, that Gripoix, Gripix, something like that. And it is a glass floral spray brooch from the 80s. And it is very, very cool. Now, this one is actually signed. You can see it right here. It says Gripix, I think I'm saying it right, Paris. And just a, a, a really cool, hard to find piece right there. Let's go on. Um, let me zoom in here. This one sold for $1,128 plus shipping. And you know, they're pointing at something here. I don't know if it's, oh yeah, it's damaged. You guys, it's even damaged. It's hard to see what they're pointing at here, but maybe it has a little crack. 
but do you see how under the condition it says pre-owned damaged see photos if you go on and you're creating a listing on ebay you cannot add this right here from your phone you have to go into your desktop i highly recommend that you go into your desktop if the item has a condition issue and you put this in so that people see it right off the bat okay or put damaged in your title but definitely draw attention to that especially on a high dollar item like this it's better than getting a return or an item not as described this one is not signed it is such a generic title i mean this is a title that i would come up with i always say that and not to say that this title is horrible but um it's just it's very just normal <laughs> vintage rhinestone pink green orchard 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 I can't say that word either. Flower pin brooch pendant. So there is nothing special about that title. There's some key words um, that describe it, but there's nothing really like there's no brand, nothing, nothing special. This is a title I would come up with. And this brooch sold for $1,391. So it is an unsigned brooch. Nothing is signed on the back of this. This is what the back looks like. I mean, these brooches, you just never know, you guys. You never know. Um, you can usually tell if they're older by uh, the back. Again, you know, there's different things to look for. But wow, oh, wow. And um, let's see, can be worn as a brooch and a pendant. They added some different things down here. Item description from the seller. Um, quite possibly vintage unsigned Shriner piece. I'm going to say, um, oh, looky here. This is why it went for so much. On February 1st, the seller added this information. This is confirmed Shriner book piece. Found in the book Shriner, Master of 20th Century Costume Jewelry by Carol Tannenbaum and Eve Townsend, page 201. So, oh my goodness, if they would have had that in the title, would it have gone for more? Or did the people that search for Shriner know to look for unsigned brooches? And they found it. And that's why it went for $1,391. Let's see what they started this auction at. They started this at $299, which is a pretty high start price for not knowing what you have. But they obviously knew that they had a beautiful piece. The next item is a Hobe, I think is how you pronounce it. H-O-B-E. This is a vintage rare signed Hobe heart-shaped brooch pendant. And let me go and show you where this is marked. It is marked right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit blurry. But uh, yeah, this is a harder to find piece. This went for $1,415 plus shipping. And um, this piece right here is a vintage sterling silver vermeil mermaid with amber colored crystals. Sold for $1,437. Um, just incredible what some of these brooches can go for. I mean, it's definitely a category that I am learning about. Um, I, I don't know much about it. I am always intrigued by it. And I thought I would do a fun little video for you guys. You can see it is marked sterling, but I think that is the only marking on this brooch. So, uh, $1,437 plus shipping. Here is one that is signed Eisenberg. And look how massive this thing is. It is five inch floral spray pin. I don't know what spray. I've seen that in two of the listings so far. Does anybody know what spray means? It says the pin is all original condition with no missing or replaced rhinestones has original locking. So again, somebody has went in and added this information. So it shows up right at the top underneath the condition. And again, you have to do that from the desktop. You cannot do that from the phone. And Eisenberg, this one is actually marked. So be on the lookout for that brand. I don't know if it's the brand in general or because it's such a huge piece, but uh, really beautiful. Sold for $1,500 plus shipping. Now, I learned about Hobe. I think that's how you say it. H-O-B-E. I learned about that brand from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel because she sold a beautiful set and we're going to talk about it. But she also has this video right here that says vintage costume jewelry. Let's talk about it. Noel does live shows and it's basically kind of like my category videos, 
only she takes it like one step way further. And she does a live show where you guys can go in and ask questions. And she does a deep research. She goes outside of eBay and looks at um, different ways to research uh, values of things. And she uses Google and lots of different things, lots of tools for you guys to use. She is a Bolo finder. Definitely go and subscribe to her and check out this vintage costume jewelry. Let's talk about it. It's over two hours long. So I'm just giving you some bits and pieces. She's going to take you into a deep dive. So definitely check her out. I will link her down below. This is the piece she sold. And this, we're talking about brooches in this video, but I wanted to show you guys this beautiful piece that she sold. Um, $489.99 for this item. And it's the complete set and it is just stunning. I can't remember if hers was actually marked or yeah, it looks like it's marked right there. I, if I remember correctly, I think she said not all of the pieces were marked, but the brooch was. Um, so almost $500 for this plus shipping. The next item is this another Hobe filigree heart. Uh, brooch and pin set. Now this is a set and this one sold for $1,525 plus shipping. And let's see if this one is actually signed. I don't know if it is or not. I don't see any markings on this one. So this may be another brand where you're going to have to use Google Lens. You're going to have to figure out what the item is by doing research. It can make it tough, you guys. That's why a lot of times these big money bolos, they get missed. Like the person that sold it on whatnot for $20. I think that one was signed if I remember correctly. Um, but I mean, they just didn't know. And obviously it was a newer seller. So they probably did not have a huge audience and the person stole it for 20 bucks. I mean, they just got it. And when I say stole it, it just, I mean, they paid the price that the person was asking. That's what it got bid up to. So they didn't really steal it. It's not like they did anything wrong. The person that was selling it set the price and that person won it. And that's how auctions sometimes go. So Whatnot is a great platform to source on. All right. So this one has some condition issues. You can see it's got some paint loss. It's not in great, great condition. It is marked right here. MB. And that stands for Marcel Bout. Boucher, Boucher, Marcel Boucher. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this one is rhodium plated enamel rhinestone and it's a raspberry fruit brooch and it's got some condition issues. Again, right here, they put some great information right under the pre-owned. Take advantage of that. You guys use that tool, especially if you're selling things that are really big money like this. $1,525 this went for with the damage. Here is another one. This is a Hattie Carnegie, I think is how you say it. It's a vintage swan enamel pearl brooch pendant. Gorgeous, rare, and signed. Let's go over here and look at the signature. Um, that is right there, as close as I can get for you. It's kind of hard to see. Um, personally, what I do is I take an extreme close-up of the signed area if it's signed, but this brooch is in really fantastic condition. Um, looks really good. Like all that enamel and stuff is still in great shape. $1,692.70 plus shipping on that. This is an Alfred Felipe Crown Trafari Coronation Swore. I almost said swan sword brooch. Um, I don't know if this one is signed or not. I am very distracted by the background on this one. Again, I'm a white background person. I like to see like all the fine detail and I feel like this is really distracting, but some of you may really like, um, the distraction. I think it can be done well. Sometimes this one is just hard for me. I'm struggling with this. And if this is your listing, I apologize. Maybe it's just just me. Um, but let's see, 24 photos and full description to supersize missing stones needs a few pave crystals and still sold for $2,025. Um, I don't see any marking on that one. So that one may be unsigned as well. Lots of unsigned, uh, unbelievable, really. This one is a rare vintage Alfred Felipe for Trafari retro angel fish brooch. And this one goes to, it's a 
nonprofit it looks like. So maybe somebody donated this. Right here is the marking. Again, you're going to know if it's really, really old. This says Sterling, but I don't think that it's marked Trifari. Oh, yes, this one is. I'm sorry. I apologize. Right there. And you see how the T has a crown up above it? That means that it is Crown Trifari. If it does not have the crown, from what I understand, it is just Trifari. Um, and I think, I don't know what this number is, but maybe that dates it back further. So definitely a really, really cool piece. And this sold for $2,225 plus shipping. And I am curious what they started this one out at. They started it at $750. So they knew that it was a bolo. There were 11 bidders and 17 bids. So if you guys ever want to dig into how many people were bidding and how many total bids and all of that, what did they start it at? You can go into, um, you can go in and look at that. So that's pretty cool. This next item is a large vintage unsigned Shriner art glass uh, kabachan dangle brooch vines. So that person in the other one talked about looking through a book of Shriner. So maybe there's a book out there that you guys can get and just kind of research different Shriners and really get to know um, what to look for because it would be worth educating yourself on these. Uh, I'm sure they're really hard to find. But these people are finding them and selling them. I mean, look how beautiful that is. $2,293 on this one. Just incredible. So basically, this is an unsigned brooch that sold for $2,293 plus shipping. Now, I'm sorry, free shipping on that one. But they were able to identify it. It was just unsigned. This one is a vintage Trafari anchor pin, nautical sailor rope brooch signed blue red cruise. I never in a million years would have looked at this brooch and thought, oh my goodness, that's a $2,000 brooch. No way. No way. There's nothing that even seems super fancy about that. You can see it is signed right there. Um, it doesn't look like a super fancy piece to me. Let me know down the, in the comments if you saw this anchor pin. Would you have thought that it was worth over $2,000? I'm going to say no. I would have picked it up because it's Trifari. I mean, I, I would not have looked at that and thought it was a, a, a crazy, amazing, wonderful $2,000 and almost $500 piece. Now, would I have used Google Lens on it? I, I definitely would have searched Trifari Anchor and it probably would have popped up and then I would have known. <laughs> but I mean, there's people that don't research things. They just sell them. Look at this. Vintage Marcel Bausch. Bosher, Bosher, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Bird of Paradise. This is beautiful. It's enamel and rhinestone. It is a rare pin. It is stunning. And it is marked right here. So that is MB. That's what you're looking for, you guys. This sold for $2,648 plus shipping. This one is a vintage signed. This one is signed. Shriner, New York. Ruffle rhinestone brooch. And there is your back. And you can see it's got some, you know, I don't want to say crud, but crud on it. Uh, some wear or what do you guys call that? You jewelry people, what do you call it? Tell me in the comments. $3,342 plus shipping on that. This next item is another rent, ver, uh, vintage rare 1950s unsigned Shriner pink keystone ruffle brooch. So, um... Again, that same kind of look to it with the flowered out. I feel like I would know that a Shriner if I saw it, if I saw this particular one. This one's unsigned. And the back, you know, it doesn't even look super old. But um, the pin is sticking out of the side. So that's a good indicator. But wow, just incredible, right? $3,383 plus shipping. This one right here, again, that classic Shriner look. Um, they're calling it a ruffle. So uh, art glass, $5,223.45. Now it says verified in the title. I do not think that this one is signed either. I don't know if it's because they're older or why they're not signed, but man, if you can find the ones that are unsigned, they are a big money bolo, but you can also miss them because they are unsigned. The next one is this antique Sterling Georgian, or no, I'm sorry. Gregorian 
beetle micro mosaic brooch flawed. Um, micro mosaic. This is what micro mosaic is. This right here, this uh, little art, how they've put these pieces and made like a mosaic. And you can see it looks like it's got a little bit of damage to it, but a really cool, fun piece. This is not a huge money bolo. You can tell it is an older pin. Look at the clasp there. This one sold for $305.50 plus shipping. This next item is Chanel. And, you know, I look at this and I'm like, I. the only reason this sold for big money, in my opinion, is because it's Chanel. I mean, it's just kind of a simple go to the beach, go to Paris, go to the sun, Um there's no marking on the back. It's just Chanel at the top. I would probably see this and think it was a knockoff, honestly. But I'm not very versed in jewelry. But this sold for $550 plus shipping. I would think there would be some type of marking on the back of a Chanel piece. Um, but there's not. And it's not even that old. It's 2019. So the next item is um, another rare Shriner coral jade brooch pendant and earring set. Now, let's see. This one I do not believe is marked either. $1,250. The earrings are marked and the brooch I do not think it is. So because they probably picked this up as a set, they were probably able to identify it as Shriner because of the earrings. So that is great. Um, but another just beautiful, stunning piece. This one right here is this crescent brooch and earring set, Shriner also. I don't know why they only did two photos. Always do as many photos as needed to really showcase the item. This one is marked right there. Like they didn't do the back of the earrings. I definitely would have done that. Let me see if they, nope, nothing down below either. Um, sometimes people will do additional pictures in the description. Uh, $950 plus shipping on that one. This one here is another, uh, now this one is a Juliana pink cat watermelon brooch. It's rare. Um, I do not believe that this one is signed. I think I looked earlier when I pulled it up. Juliana, not a brand I've ever heard of, but can also, um, that means nothing because I don't know a whole lot about jewelry, but this is like a little cat. And this sold for $150 plus shipping. It is Juliana, but it is unsigned. So again, that's where Google Lens is going to help you out. This one is a Tutti Fruity brooch attributed, attributed, attributed to Trifari. And I don't know what all that means, but you can see that it's vintage. Hmm. Attributed to Trifari. Huh. $165. I don't know if that's keyword spamming or what. Let me know in the comments. Let's see. There are a couple rhinestones missing from the 2D Fruity brooch, which has been attributed to Trifari. This is likely to be a very early vintage piece. There is another listing for a pair of these brooches. Hmm. I don't know. You guys that are jewelry people, let me know in the comments. Now, another thing that I would do is there's two photos here and it says that rhinestones are missing. I would do a, an extreme close up of the area where the damage is. And I would also make sure that it set it under the condition up here. Just to protect yourselves. Art Deco Antique Genuine Faceted Faceted. Let's see how many words I can mess up today. Um, Sapphire, right? Sapphire? Sapphire? Glass reversed set brooch. I had one of my viewers tell me that um, I was starting to get some words right. And they're like, I'm not going to come back if you continue to pronounce things correctly. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm so known for mispronouncing things. I know it annoys some of you. And some of you like, you enjoy hearing how I'm going to say something. And I've also learned that I say things like bra. I guess I say bra weird and dog. I don't know. I get. I didn't know that I had an accent, but I guess I do. So kind of fun. You guys have taught me a lot and I appreciate all of you standing by me while I learn these words. There's certain words that I'm starting to really master and it's kind of exciting, but it does take me a while. All right. So this one sold for a hundred bucks and I believe that it is unsigned as well. 
And the last item here is this Coro duet signed 1938. Camilla, Camilla, Camilla. Fur clip brooch. Now, what does that mean? What is a fur clip brooch? Let me show you. It's this. So these are fur clips, but they also go onto this brooch. So you can wear it as a brooch or you can wear it as a fur clip. It's pretty cool, right? And this one is signed right there. And right there's the patent number. So it's really old. It's sold for $241.50 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, you guys, that turned into a 30 minute video. How fun was that? Um, I love vintage brooches. Uh, I just think they're so fun. Uh, learning. I know, don't know much. I'll admit it. I am not a jewelry master. I really don't know much about jewelry at all, but I do enjoy buying it and sorting through it and selling it. But I just have trouble with those keywords. So one way to learn about jewelry is to go in and study other listings and how people are using keywords. Um, so can you still sell items even without great keywords? Yeah, I do it all the time. Um, but I also think I've undersold things. So if you look at my jewelry listings in my eBay store and on my Poshmark closet, you will see, yes, I have sold things, but my keywords are just... All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Um, leave me a comment of an owl or just write the word hoot. Uh, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And thanks for watching.